so uh, so it is said that you know uh, after world war 2 this was believed that any uh, only that country those countries would be able to win world war 3 whose submarines would be able to stay for the maximum time under the surface what is surface so what is your take on actually i think this is a this is a misnomer you know um, submarines have a role to play in a force comp- composition of any navy uh see like in the <clears throat> army you have the tanks which first go clear the ground then the infantry moves in so similarly in uh, in the navy the submarines are mainly used as offensive uh, platforms and they are in position in the their patrol areas much before the hostilities commence uh, that's also for the reasons that they must get used to the conditions of the uh, waters in which they are going to operate and then decide as to which are the best uh, uh, speeds depths and uh, you know times uh, of the day because uh, the main source of detection uh, underwater is sonar uh, which is sound so sound waves travel in the water uh, and their re- evolution or their movement in the water depends on various factors the salinity of the water the density of the water the temperature of the water so that modifies the way the sound will travel and therefore a uh, submarine reaches that area much in advance and decides taking all these conditions as to what are the best uh, uh, regimes for her to operate to gain the maximum advantage it's uh, not necessary to say that the submarines are able to stay underwater for longer but the fact is that uh, if a submarine uh, conventional submarines they have to come up to surface to charge their batteries at least uh, once in 36 hours depends also the usage of the battery if the u battery has been used extensively then they have to come up more often to charge whereas a nuclear powered submarine uh, need not come up to uh, charge batteries they have batteries on board but that's for a different reason because they are uh, they have unlimited source of energy and uh, they make their own uh, microclimate they make their own water they make manufacture their own oxygen and thing like that so the only reason why a nuclear submarine may come up uh, to a periscope depth is to raise the communication masts because you see the sound with the very high frequencies does not penetrate the water it only penetrates at very low frequencies so there are systems even for uh, receiving communications at low frequencies and all but uh, <clears throat> the advantage of high frequencies is that you can transmit a greater volume of traffic in a reduced period of time as you see in the computers we call the zipping okay. of the of the files uh, whereas at very low frequency the the uh, carrier wave and on which you superimpose the message that is little slow so that is the only reason where a nuclear submarine will come up to receive a, a communication which reduces the probability of its detection so nowadays you have various sources of detecting a submarine close to the periscope depth or on the surface you have surveillance by aircraft you have surveillance by ships you have surveillance by the satellite and uh, so uh, it's not that uh, moment of submarine comes up she is detected she could be if the aircraft is on top she might be detected but the aim is to reduce the exposure time to the minimum even in a conventional submarine you have uh, nowadays conventional submarines which have a charging requirement of as less than uh, an hour to the to the charge their batteries so, whereas uh, the older batteries you would take about 5 hours to charge the batteries so various 5 hours and there is one hour in a days duration so it re- reduces your probability of uh, detection that's all the <coughs> question of the idea is that the submarines what is her main main uh, characteristic which en- gives her advantage is stealth correct so that she should not be detected before she launches her weapons so on to the for, towards that and the nuclear submarine is best suited because she don't have to come up to the surface for her uh, 
uh, you say daily requirements of uh, habitation, microclimate, air, water. She does everything of her own. She ma ma manufactures them on her own. So, uh, to that extent, one could say that uh, dive time, greater dive, uh, dive time, submerged time helps because only from the point of view that it reduces the probability of detection. That's all. Otherwise, uh, the main aim of the submarine, I'm not ruling out the strategic aspect where it done, but in from in the tactical scenario uh, where you have the attack submarines, uh, the issue is that how you can quickly you can detect at how, what ranges you can detect and deploy your weapons to the uh, disable uh, enemy surface force. So towards that end, the submarines uh, are more suited. They can be sent ahead of a surface battle group and they can take charge of the enemy uh, surface battle group or uh, individual ships and then your battle group moves in because battle groups uh, are also one of their main function is power projection. So one could say that the submarines go and soften the ground or enable for the main force to move in and take charge of the area of operations. Just like tanks. As Napoleon said, victory is still measured by foot. So that still is, remains valid to date. You may be able to sanitize an area, but to be able to control that area, you have to occupy that area physically. Correct. That's the point.